Back on January 12th, the Diocese of Springfield named a new Implementation and Oversight Committee, which will ensure that the recommendations of the Independent Task Force on the Response to Sexual Abuse will be put in place. The committee met for the first time this week. Carolee McGrath has more. But a special thanks to all of you. It's, I know it's a commitment, but it's a commitment to the good. And Springfield Bishop William Byrne uh, thanked the new Implementation and Oversight Committee, which is now in place. The committee is charged with ensuring that the recommendations of the Independent Task Force on the response to sexual abuse within the Diocese of Springfield are put into practice. The task force released its report last September, which included six strategic initiatives to improve how the diocese responds to and handles allegations of clergy sexual abuse. We had the task force, which developed a strategic plan. And then how do you implement it? Well, this is the beauty of the Implementation and Oversight Committee. This board is going to make sure that we are taking the necessary steps that the task force uh, required of us, keeping us on track, but also what's so important is that it's in completely independent, that it gives us a set of eyes that's not within our administration. Committee member Peter Caffrey, a North Adams native, is a survivor of clergy sexual abuse. Caffrey and his wife have two children. Last year, he published the book, Bless Me, Father, for I Have Sinned, a memoir of healing, based loosely on his experience. We want to make a seed change here. And, and is, it, is it easy? No, it's not easy, I don't think. I mean, there are a lot of aspects that go into this, a lot of thought that goes into this. Um, you, you know, how, do you, how do you instill trust in the system for those who have been abused so they feel like they're not getting abused again in the process? They can move into healing as in the way that's most appropriate for them and help to identify that. And how do you stop this from happening again? Andrew Rome is the Deputy Commissioner for Field Operations for the Massachusetts Department of Early Education and Care. For more than 29 years, Rome served in senior legal positions at the Massachusetts Department of Children and Families. He was also appointed to the Diocesan Review Board last summer, which assesses cases of sexual abuse of minors and makes a recommendation to the bishop as to whether the allegations are credible. Hopefully, as we move forward, people will then start realizing that this committee is going to actually do something and is going to make these changes that are needed. And we'll see that this is different than it has been in the past. Some of the task force recommendations that the committee will now look to implement include a reintroduction of the Virtus training program or safe environment for both diocesan employees and at the parish level. They will also look at updating the code of conduct for employees and volunteers and establishing safe environment teams at each parish. Jeffrey Trant, director of the Diocesan Office of Safe Environment and Victim Assistance, will serve as senior staff to the committee. Far too often when an organization develops a strategic plan, right, it's a glossy document that sits on a shelf and it gathers dust. The role of the Implementation and Oversight Committee is to take the work of the strategic plan that serves as a blueprint and to really turn that into concrete actions to ensure that the reforms that were recommended by the task force um, are truly brought to fruition. The naming of this committee is the latest action undertaken by the diocese to improve its safe environment efforts. Under trans leadership, the diocese commissioned the Judge Peter Velas investigation, brought on a new team of investigators, and signed a joint memorandum of understanding with the three district attorneys. The diocese also issued an updated list of persons credibly accused of sexual abuse of a minor last spring. Reporting for Real to Real in Springfield, I'm Carolee McGrath. Sadly, just days after being named as a member of the new committee, Ron Johnson passed away. Johnson was the director of the Springfield-based Dr. Martin Luther King Family Services. He previously served on the Independent Task Force, whose recommendations will be the basis for the new Implementation and Oversight Committee. Bishop Byrne released a statement on Johnson's passing, which you can read on iobserve.org. Johnson leaves a wife and two children.